Mm, damn, Q. Maybe you did that. Bourbon Whiskey Podcast. Everybody loves BBW. Of course, man, off camera, I got my man Angry Principal. What's up? Got my man Bo in the building. I sure. And of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205, man. We back in here with something super brand new. Uh, my colleagues have said that they've seen this before. I never even heard of it, so we'll get into it. It is Hudson Whiskey. Is it, is it Hudson Whiskey New York or is it Hudson New York Whiskey? Because like I can say, all right, anyway, just tell the people how, how we came up on it. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, just, to, just to be up front, I had a joint before we started. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, I seen, like I said, man, I've seen it in, in, in the stores before. I've walked past it. I've looked at it. I haven't even picked it up and read, you know, whatever. It just, it, it never really just jumped out to me before, I guess, you know, to pick up a bottle. So, you know, brother just had a birthday not long ago. So, the fam was, you know. They was in town, they stopped by, it was like, hey, we know you like barber, so hey, you know, here you go, here you go a bottle for you, right? Let's get together, right. And it just happened to be, it was like, oh yeah, I Happy birthday, before. by the way. Appreciate yeah, it, happy birthday, appreciate, yeah, it, appreciate sure. it, appreciate it. And it happened to be that it was uh, this, this this Hudson, New York whiskey, or Hudson, New Hudson whiskey, whiskey, New York. New York. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So. Yeah. I just read it like that because it just it seemed weird, but yeah, it's, it's Hudson whiskey, New York. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Um, so I, I just found it strange, I think, that, that it is distilled in New York. Um, when I think of when I think of bourbons and whiskeys and stuff, I, I just automatically think of down south. I know obviously there's a few that are uh, distilled up here, but like you know, it just kind of threw me off, especially right. for New York. Like for whatever reason, I just feel like New York wouldn't produce good whiskey. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? So we can you know get to the bottom of this. Angry Don't get me wrong. Now it's a lot of good shit to come out of New York. You just we just weren't too sure about the the bourbon. About so whiskey about and bourbon. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We're about to find out. So, Angry Principal, you had something to say about this? Well, I mean, I've seen it for years. I just I think the bottle threw me off. It looked more like a medicine bottle than mm -hmm. it, it, does. Does. it does. So, yeah. I never picked hey, it up. Old ass Listerine bottle, or something, <laughs> right? right? <laughs> <laughs> so I never Listerine. picked it up. But according to their information, it's a mm -hmm. it's a minimum three year. Uh, bourbon, okay, which means it may have some five, may have some four, all mixed in together. Right. It's a blend, ninety five percent corn, five five percent malted barley. It's a ninety two proof. Okay, it's okay. also kosher certified. Yeah, which so, threw me off. Yeah, like, it's, threw me it, completely. You off. don't see the kosher part put on there very often. I think right. Heaven Hill has a kosher bourbon, but uh, yeah, you don't normally see kosher as a part of a whiskey um, right. ingredients. Yeah. You just exactly. don't, don't see it as part of the, their information. Like you so. said non-GMO. Yeah. Right, non-GMO. <laughs> Vegan. <laughs> Vegan. Yeah, all right, so let, let's, uh, let's check out. Well, first of all, let me say this before we get into it, though. Um, I'm hoping that it tastes good, but uh, I'm not sure. I'm just not really feeling like New York is going to well, give me the whiskey that I want. It won gold at the International Spirits Challenge in 22. So a lot of things win awards. And it won, and it won gold at the Tag Spirit Awards, which means they probably paid a little money to make sure exactly. their name was put up there. But, hey, good to them. They had enough money to do that. So corn mash, what do you think it's going to taste like? I don't know. I, I Probably vanilla like every other yeah, bourbon. It's probably probably so. going to hit a lot of that and some fruit. So Some fruit. Yeah, yeah I think it's going to be on the, sweet, the sweeter side. Yeah. You know, I think especially it's going to be a lower proof, too. I think it's going to be, uh, what's it called, though? I think it's going to be more of a maybe a cocoa sweetness. Yeah. Right? It's going to be something other than fruit. I don't think it's going to be real fruity. I'm, I'm anxious to kind yeah, of let's, figure let's it out. out now. Go, I, ahead, I, go ahead and pop it. It's something. not something I was, like I said, I've seen it for years. Just yeah. never did it. Yeah. Pause for the cork. Okay. Okay. Right. Good cork. Start. Right. Yeah. Start. <laughs> Appreciate you, brother. Sure. I'm a good man right there. All right. All right. This is a few we got <laughs> more lied. stuff to do. <laughs> I lied. It's fruity off rip. <laughs> I lied. Like, I couldn't even get into my nose oh, good. Was that? Uh, made us. No, we didn't get it together. That's, a, that's against the rules, though, man. Oh, no. We're <laughs> wasting, no, we good. We we good. We wasting we liquor. We got it. We got it. Yeah, so I'll bring my Oh, yeah. It's going to definitely be fruity. <laughs> I figured it would be, though. Is that apples or pears? I said, oh shit. 
I'm sorry, I think I would have had it, y'all. I would have had it, y'all. I think I taste, I mean, smell apples, but. See, I taste pears. I taste pears. The shit is actually, though. It's not bad. It's not bad. I wish it had a little bit more mm, to it, though. You know what I mean? I know it's a lower proof. I smell a lot of vanilla, a lot of apples. Definitely smell that vanilla. Yeah, definitely. It ain't, it ain't no char on there. That's what you're talking no, about. No. Ain't no char. It's zero char. It's, a, it's still a long finish, though. But it's, it's not, not It's not one of those, like, you know, like how you like it. <laughs> oh, that's straight up apples and pears. Definitely, so a yeah. combination of both, apples yeah. and pears. I definitely it's taste both. the pears. I smell, I smell them both. I taste... I taste the apple too, but I taste, I don't know, the, the pear just seems like it, it's kind of a little... Smell the apple, taste the taste pear. Taste the pear, mm. yeah, I can see that. A lot of vanilla. <coughs> yeah, that's for sure. At the end, though. I got, I got it as like a, uh, as an aftertaste. You know how diet, you know how diet pop leave the aftertaste? That's how it leave the vanilla for me. I can fuck with this, like, this could be like my vacation bourbon. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean by vacation bourbon, right? Like... So typically, I'm I'm, I'm I'm drinking by about 10 a.m. Right, you know, <laughs> by about 10 a.m. Thanks. And, and you know, I can you know throughout the day, you know, sip on it a little bit. Maybe mm -hmm. I want to throw a little water or some or some, some put it on the rocks or something like that or mm -hmm. whatever. And like by 6 p.m., I'm not gonna be you know stupid drunk. Toe up, yeah. yeah. But then <laughs> if it was like if it was like that uh uh, uh like the red uh, the wild turkey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> By 6 p.m. I'm done. Wild turkey. So this, this could be my vacation. Bourbon. I'm drinking at 10, and we drink it, especially if we drink in a uh, rare breed. By 10:30, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Rare breed. <laughs> rare breed. If you start at 10 a.m. with rare breed, you just. It, your day, you just gotta yeah. understand your day gonna be done by 4 p.m. Yeah, at least What's the that? first half. Because you're gonna have to get a power <laughs> right. You're gonna have to recycle. You're gonna have to. This is good, though. So this the chart comes at the end. It's yeah, a, a little bit. Finish. A little it's a long bit, yeah. finish, though. It is a long finish. Yeah. Yeah. It's still sticking with me. I, I like this. Yeah. It's decent, though. <coughs> um, completely. Wrong bite. <laughs> Wrong bite. <laughs> <laughs> completely different from what I thought, though, because mm -hmm. I thinking it was going to be more of a, a, a cocoa kind of sweetness. I didn't think it would be fruity at all, but off rip when you poured <laughs> yeah. it, like you smell it. Like yeah, it's it off rip you, yeah. as soon as you hit it, though. So, kind of surprised me with that. Um, so, let's uh, obviously we'll go around and. Get a review. I just want to get one more sip, though. It actually pairs well with this, too. I'm smoking the Hoyo. Um, yeah, it pairs pretty well. Not the strongest cigar, but it's a Cuban. And actually, it's a. it might be... And I don't know. It could be a little more complex than I was thinking. Because it kind of tastes a little different after I get to this third like little sip. It's tasting a little different at the beginning. Could be the weed. It could be the weed. <laughs> that could be the weed. That could definitely be the case, man. I think the cigar makes it taste better. I think okay. so, too. Cigar yeah. definitely enhances it. Is it because it's fruit? I think it's the char. Char, mm -hmm. yeah. That char comes yep. off at the end. Yep. A little better with the cigar than without. I don't know if I'm buying this one, though, y'all. I, I don't even know if I want it in the... Nothing against it. Yeah. I just don't know if I'm willing to spend the money on it. Yeah, because yeah, it's. I looked. I think it was like forty. Because I looked at uh, uh, what's the place? Total Wine. They went. They went. I think it was like thirty nine, maybe forty one dollars, something like that. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So I'm smoking the Old Mac, which is a Nicaraguan so, cigar, and it's it's a full body, so it's really bringing okay. out the, the yeah, taste of the char. Yeah, it's bringing that out. Yeah. Okay. So what you think, though? We go go around, we go around, go around the table and see what we think. You kind of already said that <laughs> this might not be a purchaser. <laughs> no, I mean I wouldn't refuse it, but yeah. I, I'm not. I don't think I'm putting it in the house. Gotcha. All right, so you know how we, you know how we yeah, do. Yeah, because I, I would, I go get that Elvin Williams white label before. <laughs> First yeah, of all, no, I'm not. Don't threaten me with a good time. Well, I'm, because not I fuck with I'm not saying anything bad against it. Yeah, I'm just saying but the, it is what it is. The, it's it's. I don't know, for the money, I think I'd go with the Evan Williams white label before yeah. I hit this. Nothing, I'm not saying anything bad against it. It's mm -hmm. just for the price point and then other things that are out there, you mm -hmm. might be able to find something a little cheaper if that's, your, if that's okay. an issue for you. Yeah, it's not bad at all, though. It's not so, bad. So if you're looking at, you know, uh, no, we're going to go around first and then we'll get a, the ratings. So what you say, Bo? I agree with Angry Principle, right? You know, so I'm not going to um, necessarily go out and, you know, buy a buy. You know, like we talk about off camera, I might buy a bottle as like it, like you said, a cocktail whiskey, right? Mm -hmm. So 
if it's the summer, you know, and I'm making some bourbon drinks or something like that, then I'll probably use this. But as a half, as an everyday sipper or a once in a while or a special occasion, no, nah, it's I can't really see myself, you know, putting this in yeah. you know, on the shelf, you know what I mean? I feel you. So like with me, I'm I'm kinda on that on that same tip, but only because I've of course, again, I have a softer palate, so I do like sweeter <laughs> I do like sweeter whiskeys and bourbons, but I'm more partial to uh, you know a chocolate taste or a cocoa taste or something like that like the fruit sweetness uh doesn't really work well for me uh it's not it's not bad though just like you said right. like you got it so definitely if we pull up like i'm i'm gonna, I'm oh, gonna yeah. drink some. Sure. <laughs> oh, but hey auntie i'm still grateful for it i appreciate it okay. right. i'm glad you bought it for me I love for you. sure for sure <laughs> right thanks for the love yeah, auntie just have to, just have to throw that out there right I'm, auntie be watching sometimes i don't I don't want to hurt auntie cool. feelings, you know? No, for sure. And it's all about trying stuff. So, like, people got to understand, especially when you're talking about liquors, yeah. you can gift things and everything. That, like, it's really still up to you tasting it. You know what I'm saying? So, th it's the thought that counts. And then we can come back to this in six months and it right. tastes totally different. Mm -hmm. After we taste really some other like stuff it, yeah. or after it breathes for a little right. while. Because it so. is a blend, technically, right? Because it yeah. says at minimum three year, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Correct. yeah. Each barrel. Who knows? Now, what's weird, though, is I wonder how come they don't, like, sell them differently. Like, the... The, the more age was like, let's say this is the five year Hudson as, as opposed to like just putting it all together. You know what? I'm gonna have to pay attention at the store and see if they have any other selections out there. Yeah, they have so a rye out there and a couple okay. others, but they have different versions. But yeah, um, I don't know if there's another one on here. What's the name of the rye one again? Uh, uh, do the right thing. Do the right thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's kind of I like that. That's I gotta give them a shout out for that one though. Yeah. For sure. Do yeah. the right thing. Shout so like they have do the right thing, short stack. Mm -hmm. which is a straight rye whiskey finished in maple syrup barrels. That's what I figured. When it says short stack, short I stack, pancakes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then they got a um, they got a couple of others in there. So yeah. they have about five different iterations of their bourbons okay. or, or their whiskey, but, yeah. you know. Okay. okay. Mm. All right, so if you got to give it, a, you know, on the rating system, one to five, Black Power Fist Dog, what you giving it, Angry Prince? I'm probably giving it two and a half. Two and a half? Yeah. Two and a half black power fist. Okay. Two and a half. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's not bad. Not bad. Believe me, I'm bad. not saying anything against this. It's right. Just, just you know. ain't your cup of tea. Right. <laughs> but what you say, bro? I'm I agree fine. with Anchor Principle. I'm going to give it two and a half as two well. Half. Yep. Okay. I think I'm on, I'm on that same boat at two and a half. Um, again, I think, I think we've said it about 50 times, but in real life, it's not bad. <laughs> like, it's not bad at all. Just probably not my go-to. Like, if, if, I'd have, if I'd have known... The fruit sweetness of it is probably like would be something would, that would deter me, and I would have never tried it in the first place. But um, talk you also talking to somebody who drinks, uh, you know, apple apple crown royal. Though. So I, <laughs> I don't know. I'm a weirdo, right? <laughs> so it looks like it's a consistent across the board. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, I don't want y'all to get it twisted though. Don't, whiskey. Don't think it's like it's, it's, it's a bad. It's not bad, right? Huh. So it's. I'm not saying like. Let's say this. If it was a if it was a lower price point. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, you know, maybe. Maybe. I yeah. mean, just like twenty two ninety five. If if it, if it was a girl, right? You know, yeah. you'd be set your 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 people up, right? Oh, how she? What she look like? <laughs> oh, she cool. She bought she bought a she, she bought a Hudson, Hudson whiskey. She bought a Hudson whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you if you were right there, she bought a Hudson. She bought well, a Hudson. What she, she she cool. <laughs> you know, yeah. It's, it's, so typically that ends up bad. It's it's it's, it's higher than that. It's slightly higher than on the rating scale. Right? There you go. I can imagine this being really good in a Kentucky Mule or a oh, yeah, old yeah. fashioned or something. Yeah, it'll yep. be worth it. So uh, any yep. kind of cocktail, it'll probably mm -hmm. work. If yeah, you're a beginner, if you're a beginner to bourbon, that'd be a good one to come in on. Mm -hmm. because it's, it's not too strong. You know what? You say that, and you got three or four little flavors in there you can point out real easy. You say that, but I don't know, though. I feel like when you, depending on where you're coming from, I think you need to get hit with the hard stuff. I don't know. I think, I you, think you need to come in and get hit with the hard yourself stuff. Up because, okay, in this, you're going to taste the fruit, you're going to taste the vanilla, and uh -huh. you're going to taste the char at the end. That's right. three things you can identify immediately if mm -hmm. you're trying to really get into bourbon. Right. Where So, so a beginner would be great for this mm -hmm. just to come in, entry. Okay, let me see what my palate can pick out, yeah. and then you start going into the to the bigger and bolder stuff. So this will, yeah. to me, this would be a good thing. If I know somebody's just getting into it, I may show them this. Gotcha. And you said it was a ninety three, ninety two, ninety two proof. proof. Okay, yeah, yeah. that is a pretty low proof, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty low proof. All right, so yeah, I, thanks to Angry Principal, I am now, uh, I, I am now uh, what you what we call what you do the high proof. Uh, oh, uh, proof hunter. Yeah, proof hunter. I'm, I'm met now. <laughs> I didn't used to be though, right? Like 90, 90, 95 was always good for me. Like hundred was like 
you know, oh, you're doing something. Yeah, I was you, like 127. You, you trying to drink Kool-Aid before. Oh, uh, here we go, man. On that note, we get purple. <laughs> we get purple. We get that red. Look at that red. <laughs> hey, so shout out to Hudson Whiskey, uh, New York. Uh, uh, I think it's all three of our first time having it. Uh, again, obviously, uh, your taste is your taste, so we do uh, suggest that you take it, you know, check it out for yourself. Uh, if you're into something that has a, a fruitier taste to it, you know, more fruity notes, I think this will work for you. And again, just like Angry Principal said, if you're uh, beginning out, um, this could be a good transition from, you know, from cognac, which, is, you know, a lot of us drink, or maybe even brandy, because I, I think brandy is pretty much cognac anyway. So, yeah, if you're making that transition, this might French, be a little bit right? helpful. Right, <laughs> exactly. Uh, I think that's it. We go, uh, I'm going to finish this uh, glass and then I'm going to smoke the rest of my joint. And we're going to see y'all next <laughs> week, man. Again, this is Hudson. Whiskey, New York, dog. Uh, any final sentiments y'all want to leave the people with today? Drink what you like, how you like. <laughs> but what about you? The Chinese spy balloon, though. The Chinese spy <laughs> balloon. <laughs> Yo, we out here, man. Everybody loves BBW. Beers, bourbon, whiskey podcast. Got my man, Angry Principal, in the building. What's up? Oh, man, Bo holding it down. I say. And, of course, man, it's your boy Q Lewis holding it down live from the 48205.